Hello my sweet friends and welcome to the vlog. Um, I'm starting this vlog kind of in a weird way because it's like almost 1230 already today like 1230 in the afternoon and like I'm still in my pajamas. I literally don't remember if this has ever happened before like I'm sure it has but it's wild. Um, I didn't have to work today because tonight I'm actually hosting the Rogamma retreat. Um, so if you guys didn't see on my main channel and I talked about it a little bit on here too, I am going to be a recruitment counselor for the fall. So at my school we call them Rogammas and because we're not able to go to like our chapters retreats, uh, most of the time some people can depending on like what they do at retreats and stuff, but um, a lot of people can't go. So in place of that, I offered to host a Rogamer retreat and have everybody over here. Um, unfortunately, it's the weekend before welcome week, so a lot of people are like traveling and moving in and stuff like that, so a lot of people can't come. So I think it's gonna be a small group. I think probably only maybe like 10 or 15 girls are gonna come um, out of like 40 or 50 Rogamas, um, but that's totally fine, totally understand, and I think it'll actually be better that it's a smaller group because then it'll be like more intimate and we'll get to hang out a little bit more and get to know each other better. So I'm really excited though, it's gonna be a lot of fun, but basically I just, I woke up at like 5.30, 6 ish today and I like planned it a little bit because I haven't really had time to. And then I cleaned my room, I still need to clean the rest of the house. Um, and then I worked on wedding planning most of today, which was really fun. So I was just like on Pinterest and um, I contacted a videographer who I'm gonna meet with on Sunday and I got it down to two different dates that we're looking at and they're pretty different dates though. They're kind of far apart, um, but yeah, we'll just wait and see. So I sent out lots of emails and text messages today and pinned a lot of stuff on Pinterest and all that fun stuff. Also, um, this is kind of unrelated, but you guys may have noticed my Instagram and my Twitter are private right now. Um, also, I deleted my Facebook, but you guys wouldn't notice that because I don't have you guys on Facebook. Um, but I did that just temporarily while I'm a Rogamma. We're required to do it for the first month of school. So in case you got on there and you were like, wait, Kim, why is this deleted or private or whatever, um, that's why. So it'll be back up and running and public to everybody um, next month after recruitment's done. So kind of a bummer, but it makes sense. It's just so that girls don't like go on and see like what affiliation you are and then like automatically want to join that one versus like actually having an open mind and like looking at all of them if that makes sense. So anyways, I do have very exciting news though. I just got a package and look what came. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. I'm so excited. My wedding planner, and I was looking through this, you guys, it's so cute. I'm gonna show you some close-ups, but I got this from Bloom Daily Planners, and they seriously have the best planners, and it's like this quatrefoil gold, like, beautiful thing, and it's seriously perfect. And then also I did my nails last night, and I grabbed the color so that I could show you. Um, it, they are both SE polishes. SE has my absolute favorite polishes ever. Um, this color is topless and barefoot. That's what's on most of my nails. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus, focus. Focus, focus, time to focus. Okay, there you go. So that's the color that's on most of my nails. And then on my ring nail, I have on, what color is this? Beyond Cozy. And I just got this one at TJ Maxx like forever ago. Um, so I've had it like literally forever, but I think it looks really, really pretty on my ring nail. Um, and like, you know what? It's fun to kind of accent that nail now, you know? Like, I like it. So anyways, that's what I'm wearing on my nails. In case you're wondering, I freaking love this color. I just got it and I'm like obsessed. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed, you guys. So anyways, kind of an exciting morning because, oh, oh, let's get in focus again. There we go. So yeah, my wedding planner came, so I'm super pumped. And I came up with like how I'm gonna ask my bridesmaids. And I'm not gonna do that for a little bit still because you know, gotta keep them on their toes. But I know how I'm gonna ask them and I'm really excited about it. And then yeah, plan my real gamer retreat a little bit. I need to do a little bit more planning, a little bit more cleaning. And then I might run to the library because I have to print some stuff. And Unfortunately, I don't have a printer. I do have a printer here in the house, but it doesn't work So I'll need to go out and print somewhere and normally I would p print like on my campus But I don't live by campus anymore. So that would be very far So I think I'm just gonna try to see if I can print at the public library I know they like have printers, but I don't know like I've never like tried to use them before so we'll see But I also need to make some food because I haven't eaten anything yet today because I've just been like so busy and like so preoccupied so 
need to eat something. Also, I've been hanging out with Jack all day and he's like so snuggly and cute. So I'm gonna show you a close up of this planner in a second because I am obsessed with it. I'm just gonna cover up my contact info, but it has a spot for like bride, email, phone number, wedding. And then I love this. It says, I found the one whom my soul loves, Song of Solomon 3-4. Um, and that's a Bible verse that I definitely want to have incorporated in my wedding day. So I love that that's on here. And then on the side, it just has a bunch of tabs. So it says our vision, the basics, guest planning, vendor planning, monthly planning, the big day, and then wedding memories. So we have like a spot for an engagement story. And I just love this. There's like a little letter over here and then look how cute this is like there's literally spots like just to say like what you're dreaming of for your big day what's important to you and i'm totally gonna fill this all out so i can have it as like a keepsake like i can give this to literally like my children someday or like my grandchildren you know what i mean like isn't that so cool so anyways it says our vision right here and this is super cool so it has um quotes on each side and then um, there's different spots for like overall vision. You can describe your wedding and then include pictures. So I think I'm going to print some pictures that I have on my like Pinterest and stuff and put them in here. So it has like ceremony, reception, bride's attire, groom's attire, bridal party attire, flowers, like all sorts of fun stuff. Like, and then you can do your own too. So if there's like not a category for something you're thinking of, then you can just fill it in. And then there's spots for like you to fill in um, your bridesmaids and your maid of honor and stuff. <laughs> there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots. If so if you have a lot of friends, don't worry. There's eight spots for bridesmaids and then you can still have a maid of honor. So you're stocked. You're ready. So <laughs> anyway, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so there's like a timeline for you. This is seriously so helpful, you guys. Like I'm seriously so excited to have this. Like I was just looking through this and I was like tearing up. Like I had like goosebumps because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like real life. Like, isn't that just crazy? Like, just look how pretty this is. I'm obsessed. And then it even has, like, tips on tipping. Like, are you kidding me? Like, literally, that just helps everything. And some of these things, like, we're going to have a budget wedding, I'm hoping. So, here, let me just, like, pop back on. I'm really hoping that we can, like, stick to a budget. Um, like, obviously, I still, like, want to have a wedding. I mean, I did tell Chris that we should elope, but I was, like, half kidding. Um, but, like, I want to definitely stick to a budget because I'm going to be paying for some of my wedding myself. And I don't feel comfortable, like, asking my parents to spend a lot of money on my wedding. Like, I just, I don't feel like that's necessary. I'm definitely not, like, a bridezilla or, like, a my way or the highway or like go big or go home like none of those things are me like I would be fine just having like my best best friends and like my immediate family there and like I'd be fine with that however that's probably not what we're gonna do um because I know what's important to Chris that he gets to invite like his co-workers and stuff like that so we are probably gonna have like I don't know right now I'm estimating like 150 maybe people at our wedding I don't know because that's actually like I think that's pretty normal or like on the smaller side of normal. I think a lot of weddings have like 250. So I'm really hoping we don't go any higher than 150, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so it's nice because there's literally a spot for everything in here. So I definitely will share this with you guys more as I fill in more stuff too. Um, but yeah, I have it pretty much narrowed down to two dates. I have my colors picked out. I have an idea of what I want for my dress. I have an idea of what I want for bridesmaid dresses and like what I want the groomsmen to wear. I know how I'm asking my bridesmaids. Like I know where I want to have the wedding. So I feel like I'm kind of ahead of the game maybe. I don't know. But like everybody keeps asking me so many questions, you guys. And I'm like, whoa, homie, like let me live for five minutes. Like I literally just got engaged. So... Yeah, it's just crazy. Oh, also I already like filled out our registry on um, two different places. There's a lot going on, but if you're married or if you're like engaged and you have any tips for me, definitely leave them in a comment below because I would love to hear some because it's just crazy like how much goes into it that I had never thought about before. So yeah, it's really nice to have this planner though. I'm so excited to start filling it out. I actually might sit down and fill out a little bit later um, or if I go to the library and print stuff, maybe I'll print like some pictures from Pinterest there. But yeah, I'm so pumped about this. It got just a little bit um, damaged in the mail. I don't know if you can even see that. It's like right in here. But I think it still looks fine. You can't really tell. But yeah, it just got like scratched a little bit. But I mean, be kind of sad, but it's so pretty. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited, you guys. So anyways, I will pop back in later. Hopefully I'll like look a little bit more presentable by the next time I'm on. So I'll see you guys when I see ya.
Hello friends, so now it's Sunday the, I don't know what date to be honest, but I'm with Mama Bear mm -hmm. and we just got done with church and now we're downtown and um, really exciting like first wedding plan visit thing. Um, <laughs> I have it. appointment, yeah whatever, you know, technical terms. Um, but I have an appointment at 1.30 now with um, a videographer. So Mama and I are gonna meet with a videographer. It's only like 12.30 right now though, so we're gonna grab some lunch really quick and then we're gonna head over and grab coffee with a potential videographer for my wedding so how crazy is that it's all crazy are you excited crazy. oh yeah i'm very excited your baby is getting mewy meow <laughs> meow it's exciting how what are your thoughts are you excited like what are you thinking I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm pumped? very excited. I am. I'm just taking one day at a time. I'm not stressing about it. It was I like, funny because Chris, I like tried to talk to Chris yesterday this about like funny. making um, like a guest list or whatever, like setting a budget or whatever. And he looked at me and he's like, babe, we ha we've been engaged for one week. He's like, we're not talking about this right now. We're going to enjoy being engaged. <laughs> I was like, eh, you're not wrong. Except for like, I'm such a planner. I like want it all done. But we've kind of narrowed it down to a date, kind of, maybe, potentially. And we're meeting with a videographer. So Yay! Like, woo! I have my wedding planner too. I should bring Oh, that. the planner is awesome. So my wedding planner, I went through and put some pictures in last night. I got them printed at Walgreens. Um, I don't want to show you guys like too much. But... Here, I'll show you this stuff. But like, I put some pictures in. Oh, oh, there we go. And yeah, so that's exciting. So I'm gonna bring this, so in case the videographer wants to see like what I'm looking for. Mm. Then we'll know. Okay, we're gonna go get lunch, I'm hungry, woo. Hello Hi. friends, so now it is 2.06. Mama and I got lunch, and our lunch honestly wasn't very good, but that's okay. And then we met with the potential videographer, and he was so nice, so that was good. And we got coffee, and so I got an Americana with almond milk and two Splenda, and it was actually a lot sweeter than I meant for it to be, but it was really good. Um, so that was exciting. Mom didn't like it, but that's okay. She doesn't have to. She liked her black coffee. Like Mom's a black coffee kind of person. Um, so what was I going to say? Now we're going to Meyer. I, I didn't really so. ask mom yet. Mom, can we go to Meyer? Sure. <laughs> I have to mail some packages. So anyways, I have to mail a couple of packages from Poshmark. So um, shameless plug, go shop my Poshmark so I can pay for a wedding. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go mail some packages, go do some grocery shopping. Oh, I kinda wanna go to the antique store. Wow, well, well, you have to do that before you yeah, go Yeah, but it's and the opposite way, gas. isn't it? We have to get gas. We have things to do, people to see, places to go. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Good thing I don't have to work today. Yeah. Are you sure? For real this time. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Hello friends. So it's kind of loud because of the fans and the music, but Mama and I are in an antique store now. Hello. My sweet Mama. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're just kind of looking around. Chris's birthday is coming up, so honestly, we're kind of looking for stuff with him in mind. Shh, don't tell him if you see him. Um, but yeah, I haven't found anything yet anyways, but there's some cool stuff to look at, so that's neat. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking around. It's kind of toasty, roasty toasty in here. Um, but yeah, so we're just looking. And then we still need to go grocery shopping, too. Yep, we do. <laughs> Yours. So mom is making me vlog this. <laughs> She wants know. to know that. <laughs> no, I got it out. But she wants to know. Oops, oops mom, you broke it. You broke it. You break it, you buy it, mom. <laughs> so if you have eaten a jackfruit before, A, what does it taste like? B, how do you cut this thing? I, you need it's like prickly. gloves to hold it. <laughs> and it's like $1.69 a pound. And this thing, pick it up, mama. Just try to pick it up. If I can. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> I don't see a scale. <laughs> That's funny. This is what we have in our cart so far. We're getting a watermelon. Woo! <laughs> Exciting stuff. I don't know, they're on sale. Insta haul while we're waiting in line. Mama's getting an oatmeal cookie. I'm getting cookie dough because it's literally the bomb. Peanut butter. These are for Mama. But then I'm getting spinach and some of my lean cuisine meals and grapes and a watermelon and there's zucchini in there somewhere but I don't know where we put it and strawberries. Hey there.
there guys so now it is much later it is 8 20 p.m and i just got back to my place i was at chris's parents house for dinner and now um i am just working with my groceries um i'm gonna work on making like a fruit bowl a second so i'm gonna cut up like watermelon and strawberries and all that fun stuff and just like whip something up and i'm just watching some remy while i'm doing that so that's super exciting and yeah just cleaning up a little bit nothing really too crazy but i thought i would tell you guys maybe show you my fruit um and that's really about it <laughs> Today's Tuesday. It's right after 6 a.m. I am up bright and early. Actually, this is sleeping in if I were to be working today, but I'm not working today. Instead, I am moving in some freshmen. Um, so at my school, we do something called Helping Hands, and you get like volunteer hours for showing up on campus on a specified day, um, and you just run around and help freshmen get all their belongings into their dorm, and it's actually a lot of work. I did it last year, and I was like exhausted after, but it was also like so much fun just to like talk to people and see how excited they were and all that fun stuff so um i'll show you guys what i'm wearing it's not very exciting but i'm wearing a rogama shirt which this is just the recruitment counselor um name at my school at other schools it's called different things and then i'm just wearing these orange nike shorts these are just like basic shorts super exciting and then i'm gonna have on my pink nikes that kind of go with it and match like the sports bra and whatnot so not super exciting but that's what i'm wearing also i'm gonna wear my pink fanny pack so i can have my keys with me and like my phone and stuff and i might bring my camera but i don't really know what i would need my camera for because i'm not really gonna vlog like me moving in freshman but i also got a fruit bowl for breakfast um, this was what I cut up on Sunday. So this might be one of the last clips that you guys saw was me cutting up all the fruit. So um, what I do is I cut up all the fruit and I have a, I've been doing this like every week for the past few weeks and I do different things each time. Like this is the first time I've used watermelon in it, but you can use like obviously whatever. Um, and then what I do is I squeeze lime over it and it helps it stay good for longer. Um, but also it just tastes really yummy and I'm not a big lime person, but I really, really like it. So I'm going to dig into this. I have my like huge 40 ounce thing of water and I wanted to watch some YouTube videos this morning, but the internet like isn't cooperating. So we'll see about that. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and I will check in with you guys at some point, sorry, at some point later today. <laughs> hey there guys, so in my car now, it's um, quite a few hours later. I think I last talked to you at like six-ish and right now it's like right before noon. Um, so I moved in the freshmen today, not all of them, but some of them, quite a few of them. And I'm so exhausted. I already have 15,000 steps today just from today and it's like not even quite noon it's like a few minutes before noon right now and yeah that's pretty wild 15,000 steps before noon I think that's pretty good so anyways I'm so tired my arms are so sore and I like kept saying oh I'm tough I'm tough it's okay like I'll take the big stuff and I kind of let my pride get in my way sometimes but it was a killer workout and then I just went to McDonald's and got some lunch which I know I've been, I've really been good about not going to McDonald's or like fast food lately but I I figured I worked really really hard today so I deserved it and I was like starving when I got done I couldn't remember if they would have food or not for the volunteers and they didn't have any so I was like so hungry so anyways now I'm about to go into campus I need to do a bunch of printing <laughs> because uh, printing's free on campus and like I don't have a printer at home not one that works at least so I need to print like all my shipping labels for my Poshmark and I need to print like my syllabi for school, super exciting, and just stuff like that. So I'm gonna go print all that stuff. And then also I think I'm gonna walk over to the bookstore and buy one of the books that I need because it's one that I can only get on campus because it's like a course pack, which is really tricky of them. But yeah, it actually ended up being such a good day. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like super overcast. So it wasn't super hot outside, which was nice because last year when I did this, um, it was so hot you guys so this wasn't so bad. So anyways, I'm gonna grab all my stuff I just finished eating in my car. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab all my stuff and head inside and let's go 
Hello friends, so my room is such a mess and also my tripod right now is a box of Clorox wipes, but that's fine um, Today is Wednesday. I didn't really vlog a whole lot yesterday after I did helping hands. I was like so exhausted you guys um, Literally today. I have like noodle arms like my arms feel like jello um, But yeah, I just wanted to end this vlog a quick second and then also I did have one thing to show you guys um, I forgot to say, but the dress that I wore in, like, the vendor visit, um, section of the vlog, so, like, when I was with my mom downtown, I had, like, that green dress on with the high neck, that was from Ramwi, and it was super cute, I got a ton of compliments, I think I'm gonna wear it a lot, and then I also got this black and white peplum shirt from Ramwi as well, and it's really really cute so i haven't actually tried this on yet but i'm really excited to wear it you guys know how i feel about black and white stripes if you've seen like any of my haul videos so yeah i also got this from there so i thought i would just throw that in this vlog too because i feel like a lot of my vlogs just turn into hauls you know what i mean but anyway so that's really all i have um i just wanted to say farewell and end this vlog so that i can upload it so really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am so excited to capture my wedding planning experience, life, I don't know, on this channel. Um, and this is just the first vlog, well not really the first vlog, but one of the first vlogs of many um, of what I have coming. And definitely let me know in a comment below like what you guys want to see or um, what things I should be doing um, for my wedding that you guys think would be interesting to see in a vlog. So let me know. I have some ideas, um, some things that I know I want to capture on camera, but um, I might not know everything. So let me know in a comment below. Remember that you guys are incredibly beautiful and loved, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.